Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond. We continue today on the trend of playing my disliked slash hated champions. We just played the Trinima game. I'm going to upload it because I want to try and upload every game that we play today because like I, I don't want to play another game of Trinima. But unfortunately, if you guys watched that episode, we genuinely had like a run it kind of down Yasuo player. So that game was kind of out of our hands. But yes, yes, I am playing Ash Support. Um, this was donated by, just recently, D3 Silver. Thank you much, buddy. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, but why do I not like Ash Support? I know some people have asked this question. To me, Ash Support is like the absolute epitome at the moment of bad players play Ash Support. Like, the thing with Ash, you can be terrible at the game, but if you build the right build, you will have your arrow up every 30 seconds, and that's practically all you have to do. It's the same to me as Seraphine, that you just press W and like it just you just double W your whole team and that's all you do. That's, I think, the problem with these type of champs. I don't find them skillful in any degree. But we'll see if I change my mind by playing it. Because obviously I've not played it. I've only played against them. Um, and they are very frustrating to play against or with even. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what the comp is on the enemy team. I don't know if trolling is going on. That obviously Jin is not a support, but he... Might be trying to play Jin support. Uh, we also have double exhaust bot lane, which I just noticed. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, but we shall see. Bam, bam. Iron cold steel, fuel. I don't know. Like I predicted there's a chance that did you think I stole the Jin's ash? Because like that would be kind of funny. Oh, God. He was at an early forecast of 40C in Denmark. Yeah. Places like here in the UK, we got 40 degrees Celsius the other week. Countries that aren't designed for 40 degrees Celsius are now getting 40 degrees Celsius. Bro, the snail's literally gone on summer holiday. Not bad. I don't know what's going on. Do I have the setting on that, like, hides things? Where's that setting? Is it in video? Hide eye candy. I haven't... That's not on. I'm going to turn it on and then turn it off. Are you back, buddy? No, where's the... Sna Is the froggo here? Look, the froggo's here. I remember the first time I saw this, I was traumatized. Look at him. Hello. Look, oh, watch. There was good in every heart. Heaven knows where that went. <laughs> Little froggo. It's Jin support. Excuse me? Like, Ash is kind of a support. Jin is just straight up not a support. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. This Carthus is farming, by the way, is very, very bad. I believe I can soar. Guess I'm just gonna like absolutely focus the gin because it's it, clearly the player's like tilted or trolling or something. So if we focus him, he's probably just gonna mentally go absolute boom. Your he's nearly dead. So the only thing with this is it doesn't really give a fair, accurate representation of Ash support because, like, we're against a Jin. But obviously, we can't pick what the enemy picks, so... He's gone. I, I presume I get a tear, right? 
Alright, Ace. Might do it today, we'll see. Yeah, I do get it here. Okay. We have a Ramus. So I think Trist will get XP. Like solo XP. He's back. We double exhausted. We straight up just double exhausted. I heard it twice. Yep. Uh... <laughs> Why does he have exhaust as well? Chris went in at the wrong time. Um, question from Percival Graves. Do I think that Pantheon, Renekton, Draven, the Lee, would, Lee Sin would need a mini rework to make them more viable like Swain? Or do I think that early game champs should just exist no matter their effectiveness later? I mean, I like the, I like the fact that there is early and late game champions. The problem that I think that's happened is what i spoke about because someone even said like huts used to be like a lee sin main used to play more renekton like you know what's happened the player base inherently has gotten smarter They still had exhaust. Come here. Hey, Bangu. Um, sorry, yeah. That was a distraction. Uh, the, the player base has inherently gotten a lot smarter over the years. And player base knows. Hey, just don't feed that early game champion. If you just simply don't feed that Pantheon, he's going to suck later. You know he's going to. If you're playing top lane against Pantheon and you're a Fiora, your only risk is the first pretty much six levels of the game. Get through that, don't die, and you're going to beat him. You know that's true. Same with Renekton. It's the same with a lot of those early game champs. And when the player base inherently has gotten smarter, people know not to feed those champions. And the, the game, the, the, the player base has gotten smarter because the game is older. Ah, trying to get there to help. Oh, cartoons. Wait, Ramus just hit level six. Oh, that went bad. Mid lane moved and top lane altered. Huh. Oh, you missed. If she hit that chain, uh, LeBlanc. Dude, it's a shame that Sion based. If he didn't base, he would have like got tower probably. Oh wait, do I got I got mandate first? Don't I? A lot of early game champs are actually the most skill expressive. Mm, wouldn't say that. I think there's skill. There's a lot of skill expression throughout League of Legends. I wouldn't say some of the most, and also skill expression is completely like, as we've spoken about many times before. What you find is skillful, one other person finds completely really stupidly easy. Skill is a bro. This is what I was worried about. This Carthus, um, skill is a completely subjective thing.
I presume this guy doesn't play Carthus. Because, like, a good Carthus bot lane player knows to just survive, and this guy isn't exactly doing that. There are people that believe Garen is a skillful champion. I would call that subjective opinion. Hey, okay, what? Genuinely not even trying to be funny. There's people that actually think Garen is skillful. Hmm? Like, that's just questionable. Like, who the hell thinks Garen is skillful? What? I guess Garen players who are, like, biased. Because, again, as we've always said, player bias is the biggest thing. Going right here. From downtown! <laughs> you just got hit by bot lane. Bro. To be fair, as I've always said, like, again, it, it completely just depends your... Why is there four people here? Um, I really, and again, I really don't think there's many champions that actually are skillful in League. I think most players struggle aren't with champion mechanics. I think it's players' decision making that they struggle with the most, not the champion. And you can always, like, vast majority of the times, that if you someone, like, says, oh, doing, like, Lee Sin skillful based things, Vast majority of the time that someone's actively trying to like do kind of skillful based things on something like a Lee Sin, most of the time it's just completely unnecessary. Also, we double exhausted again. If you watch like good challenger level Lee Sin players, they hardly do all this kind of crazy mechanic thing that everybody's obsessed about because it's just not needed. See that Hextech Jinx? <laughs> This car just makes me sad. He's really bad. Maybe why he's playing a cheese pick, but still. Oh, kind of cheese pick. Would you define Carthus bot lane as a cheese pick? I mean, kind of. I suppose it's kind of the same as Ash. I mean, not really, actually. Oh, bro. Wait, what did I get stopped by? I didn't kill her? Oh. What? Are you serious? Oh. I thought that was such a free kill, but she must have had a health potion on to heal. That's such a shame. What is going on? Just coming back. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. No. Oh. God damn it, dude. Don't love that we're fighting this. Our strength is not fighting them, I'm pretty sure. Our strength is trying to scale. Yeah. Huh? Well, Presume she's going to base in time. Stop it. Oh. If they walked forward and it would have made Trist move, there was a chance I would have hit that.
Zoran's doing quite well. Oh, double chain though. Zoran's dead. Really bad death actually. Ramos. What is he doing? Yin, we don't know. Oh my god, what? Okay, apparently we're just cursed today. Like, we're trying to do this funny stream of playing champs that I don't like, but it's irre the, the champions that I'm playing are just irrelevant. Everyone's just feeding their head off. Why is everybody feeding? Oh. be great if they stop feeding be awesome this is yeah it's platinum again it's high platinum as well with the mmr so again i know platinum to most people in league is not impressive but like plat is still like the top 10 percent of the game oh. Hello. what was the flash Arthur's traded. I mean, trade isn't too bad. I don't think Ramus should have flashed. Oh, hello. Plat is worse than gold. I mean, that's just not true. say plat is worse attitude wise than gold but gameplay it's better all right we have our mandate we do scale ish scale ish leblanc doesn't scale and she's kind of losing so that's bad but scion does Ramus kinda karthus yes ash support gets annoying Bad by trust. What is going on, guys? Scion put himself in the only place he could have got hit. Literally. Oh my days. Hey, Rosa. You like how Ash scales by her annoyance? Yeah. I mean, 30 second arrow, whatever the hell it becomes, is really annoying. I also like how Jin is higher level than the Trist. The hell's that happened? Hey, Glacy! This is dead again. The slow on. I can't see. He has experience runes. So many new league players obviously don't know what the old runes are like, and it. I don't know. Old runes are kind of cool. I'm supposed to max E. I guess that makes sense. I'm like, I may as well just start farming a bit, right? No one's mid to take the farm, I may as well. They're not doing that. You miss old runes. I do and I don't. So if you guys weren't 
around when old runes existed in League. Old runes, basically, you had a rune page, which you still do now. But you basically, the rune system that we call runes now used to be called masteries. So you had runes and masteries. Runes are completely different. Runes, basically, you had a, a rune page. And this was like the slightly pay to win aspect of League of when it first came out. Where did LeBlanc go? Anyway, you had a rune page that you, um... You put these little, like, stones in, like, a page. Um, and these little stones gave you, like, stats. So in the yellow slots, you could have armor ones. So you could start the game with nine armor. Um, or you could put something else there. Um... There obviously was a meta that, you know, you kind of just did. But there were XP runes. Yeah, there was dodge runes uh, when dodge was in the game. There was, X there was literally an XP rune. And quite a popular tactic of what some people did was they just put one 1% 1 crit rune. Because every now and then, that 1% crit rune got you a kill because you crit. That was like an actual tactic that people did. Oh, nice. That's channel. I kind of wish we just actually had an AD carry this game because this Carthus is not doing well at all. Oh, why do I have to get this guy? He definitely doesn't play Carthus. There's no way. It's like one of the biggest things was, well, playing Carthus is kind of like playing AD carry. A lot of Carthus' skill is your positioning. And this guy is, yeah, not good. This game's hard. Yeah, no, the 1% crit rune was legit. Will there be any F1 manager on the second channel? Ooh, I don't know. I will be playing it. When's it coming out? Is it soon? F1 manager 2022. 25th of August. Okay. I mean, I'll be playing it. I, I don't know how captive it's going to be to watch that game. That, that game seems to be more like you're playing it, you're into it. I don't know how much of a spectator thing it is. I'm looking forward to that though. I hope it's good. God, he literally can't position, can he? Dude, I was literally dancing my shoes off there. We dodged so much of that great law, oh, Gore Drinker. We dodged so much of his damage. I don't think we can win this game. Annoyingly, for the exact same reason as last game, we have just bad teammates. Ah, oh, today is so far not my day. Do I still play the normal F1 game? Nah, the normal F1 game, the, the one even that came out, they, they... I don't know if, like, the, the people that play or make the game don't watch F1 because they make the cars really floaty when you're controlling them, and F1 cars are, like, the least floaty car in the world. They're the grippiest car on the planet. So it's like they just have got the feel wrong, like, completely wrong, and that's really off-putting.
really off pausing. Oh, he's more a QSS, by the way. Because he is quite an easy Ash target for me. Um, but he's bought QSS. It's probably the double of my Ash ult and also um, Ramus Taunt. So, so far, Ash support is kind of kind of what I expected it to be. We just press W and R pretty much. And if your team doesn't do well, this pick really struggles. Dead. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. What? Hello? That was bad by her. Like, even if she got me there, which was just very unlikely, it would never even be worth it. Oh, the arrow from downtown. See, that, this is the fun of Ash support. It's, it's the, basically, to me, it's the same joy that Trindamir gives you. Trindamir, the only joy you get playing that champion is seeing the big crit numbers are going, huh, <laughs> big crit. This is a just arrow champion. That's the fun of Ash support, is hitting long range arrows. That's fun. Is there skill to that? Questionable. Don't kill it. Yeah. I'm gonna go get my mirror mana. Ow. Oh no. All right, we got mirror mana. Maybe we do actual da damage now. I, I have no idea. I, I've people have said that, but I've never really got it. People, um, Percival Graves just said, "Have I ever thought about people that play the champs because of like their aesthetic, a bit like aesthetic or their the fantasy of the champion?" I've never played a champion because of that reason. Obviously, doesn't mean people don't. I don't want to take the kill. Um, yeah, it doesn't mean people don't, but I never have. You just out for a support, man. Really? Where's our Carthus, by the way? Not a champion that's pretty good at team fights. So this game is going to be quite a hard game to win. They literally just got Hextech Dragon Soul. We have not had one Dragon Soul this game, which I will say is probably mainly, well, thanks to the Ramus clearly as a jungler, but also a lot of dragons go to bot lane pressure. If your bot lane is strong, it translates into dragons. And obviously we've had very little pressure in bot lane. Carthus has died a lot this game. Uh, even in early lane phase, this guy died quite a lot. So, yeah, an Ash support isn't really a lane phase support at all. She's a, oh, I can do arrow now every 30 seconds. Doubt this is going to hit because she's now backing away. Yeah, if she went for the all in, but she didn't. That was bad. That was bad and it made me sad. Oh, I wish I had it up now. Oh, dude, this Carthus. <laughs> that was interesting. Sion's got to go match the um, Jen. Good 
I think our biggest problem right now is we just simply just... Even if we cap somebody, I just don't know if we do enough damage. Obviously, that's a pretty bad place to be. Really? They're gonna just do... If, if Ramus is bot lane, that's the most free Baron I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, you can't do that as a Ramus. Or as, not even as a Ramus. As a jungler, you can't leave. Arthur's? <laughs> I mean, he's in the pit. Oh, this game is a bit frustrating. Oh, it genuinely, again, it's. I know it sounds annoying, but it genuinely just feels the exact same thing as last game. Like, what can we do realistically in this match? I don't know. His hitbox is so big. And that didn't even really look like it hit him, but his hitbox is so large, it just will. How much is this healed? Uh, dude, I've done bonus damage. Nearly 4,000. My team has nearly dealt a bonus 4,000 damage. Actually, quite a lot. Dude. So close. <laughs> If one of these hits, if just one of these hits. Go, 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 go. Oh, Jin was ulting across. That was our chance and Karthus is just never at the right place. I don't know what this guy's like actually trying to do because he's not playing to win clearly. Like, it's impossible. He's never in the right place, and then he dies at the right wrong time as well. We're kind of both wrong. Why flash? Why flash? Oh, just hold your flash, bro. He got her, but... Uh... Nice kill. Sion didn't break their base at all, but... Uh... Uh, yeah, sorry. Huge Jackman. Thank you so much, dude, for the uh, nine months with that prime. And just says, I just noticed my sub ran out. Oops. Thank you very much, dude. Much appreciate. All right, may as well use it. Because, like, it's good. By the time we actually get into a position to do something, it'll be back on cooldown. Yeah, Karthus has died 10 times, by the way. So is Ramus. Jesus Christ. Maybe that's why we're not seeing Karthus play a bit correctly at the moment. Maybe he feels he's died too much, so now he won't go in. The thing is, it's the opposite. Now is the time it's actually kind of okay for him to die, because he's strong enough if he's in the middle of a team fight, then he'll actually do some good oh, good things. I swear there's just vision. Um, where he died a lot in the early game, where he should have just not died in the early game. Oh, we're so weak. Oh! Again, Sion wasn't there, but he's never going to be. It's a Sion. They don't group. Oh, this game's frustrating. Because, like, here's the thing. If I was playing support, again, support typically isn't a carry role, obviously. But I feel like if I was playing, let's say, my Renata this game... I could have done way more to help my team carry the match. Whereas Ash support, I'm absolutely useless. Oh, dude, this Shen. Now they have Elder Dragon. Like, we've literally, I don't think, had one... I don't think we've had one objective this entire game. Frustrating. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, 
god, Karthus is so weak. So yeah, I don't know. So far, playing the two champs in a row, Trind and Miranash, going into them with the expectations I have, both the champs meet exactly what I was expecting. Ash support is mainly just an Ash, you know, a W and an R bot. Occasional vision, which is nice. But it's it 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 it, it sucks if your team's not doing well, Ash support is basically useless. Ash is a really good support in a way for your team's doing well, I can go for those aggressive arrows, hit those aggressive arrows, and then my team kills that person. But when your team is really behind, it doesn't do anything. You know? That's the problem. Oh, Pengu's getting a bounce pyramid. Wow. Wow. And again, it doesn't help when Talia beats a LeBlanc arguably in lane phase. Is she going that way? Hey! Arthur's dead again? Oh. Nearly. What just happened? What? I eed and it went next to me when I hit. Okay, I must have had it on the mini map by accident. That does happen. You occasionally see Ezreal's ult, and it's like, why did the Ezreal ult go like backwards? That's why. Just keep on W-ing and hope for the best. Arthur should be trying to get in the middle. Wait, he's... Oh, dude, see, this guy does not play Carthus. You can tell he tried to ult while being alive. That is the epitome of I don't play Carthus. He should have tried to go in the middle, do DPS, and then press R. Yeah, you could just tell. I, I, again, I'm I'm betting that this guy doesn't play Carthus. By the way, I don't. I don't. He might be a one trick. I've got no idea. I'm just betting he's not. Just judging by what we've seen. So again, I don't know what to do, man. The two champs that I played so far, I don't think we've played terribly bad. We hit some nice arrows that game, but what can you do? So if you look at the stats, and there you go. Yeah, it doesn't play Karthus. Again, you could just tell. This guy definitely doesn't play the champ. Uh, <laughs> unfortunate. Because the funny thing is, I think Ash Karthus could work, but the Karthus just took some really weird fights. <sighs> anyway. Um, so the Shen it does, doesn't play it. It's some type of Smurf AD carry main, but he he did well. Like his, uh, his Shen ults actually saved the enemy team quite often. The Graves doing quite well one trick. Um, doesn't really play too much. Uh, Talia doesn't do well at it, but did good compared to LeBlanc. Like, LeBlanc couldn't snowball lane phase, and that's a disaster for a LeBlanc. And then, yeah, it was kind of like cheesy bot lane versus cheesy bot lane, and our cheesy bot lane lost to their cheesy bot lane, which, again, is unfortunate. I don't think we could or should have lost that, but we did. But yeah, so that's Ash support. Um, kind of what I expected, if I'm completely honest. Not something that I enjoy. Um... But if you enjoy it, all power to you. But I do think, and maybe people who play Ash support probably agree, she is a support that requires her team to do well. And then Ash support kind of thrives off her team doing well, like most supports, it has to be said. But if your team does bad, Ash support sucks. Because, like, you're on the back foot. Ash is not wanting to be on the back foot. She's wanting to be on the front foot. She's wanting to make the plays. She's wanting to arrow and make an engage. So that's the unfortunate thing. Uh, damage wise we actually do 28,000 so we actually do more than our Ramus, more than the LeBlanc which that's quite a big deal doing more than our mid laner isn't good um 
Talia does 49,000 a lot of damage, but yeah. So damage-wise, we do all right. We hit some okay arrows. We missed some arrows, but that's kind of the norm. But I, I don't know what really we could have done more this game. So hopefully we'll get a win, because two games in a row now playing champs that I don't like, and we've lost the games. And I, I don't, again, there's always, you can always play better, 100%. I could always play better. I could hit 100% of my arrows, which is just not likely, but you could. Um, I don't know what, from even the Trinidad game last game, and then the Ash game this game, I don't know what I could do in these games to make them a win with these champions. I, I'm not sure. But that's going to be it. If you guys enjoy, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. Probably the only time I'm ever going to play Ash Support, by the way. So hopefully you enjoyed to some extent. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. Crawl down!